Hello friends, Tanya here, and today I am playing with Spellbinders November 2022 kits. I have several of them that I'm going to include. I'm going to start out with some fresh balsam distress mica stain and two different green cardstocks that I have cut to three and a half by eight and a half inches. And we're going to use the stylized floral kaleidoscope slimline. This is the large die of the month for November 2022. And I'm going to die cut this beautiful frame. Now it's got two pieces. It's got this delightful detailed part and then a solid part. And you can cut those together that creates this beautiful frame I'm holding in my hand right now. And you can cut it with just the outline to get the background here. You could also take that detailed element and cut that from a larger piece of cardstock and it would just take the create the detail part and you could create a larger margin around the outside of that if you wanted. I backed this with the uh, lighter green. This is actually the light green spritzed detail piece and the light green solid not spritzed piece. So it's the same color of cardstock. One is spritzed, spritzed with the or sprayed with the Distress Mica Stain Fresh Balsam. And I'm going to adhere this to a slimline card base that is three and a half by eight and a half inches. There are three layering dies for this flower that fits in those spaces created on the detailed die. And there's three different layers. I have cut each of those layers from three different colors of cardstock. I used the light green that I spritzed with some pearlized water. I have a brushed white and a brushed gold um, cardstock that I'm also using. And I'm going to layer these different pieces together to create three of these different flowers. They could be, I think they could be snowflakes too. Yep. Or little suns. They could be anything circular that you wanted. Um, and I'm going, well, they're more of a hexagon shape, or would that be a septagon? one, two, I think it's eight sizes, Oct I eight sides, that makes it an octagon, right? <laughs> yeah, count the sides. I believe there are eight sides, one, two, three, four, yep, eight sides. And you can alter the way you layer these so that your centerpiece is either one solid four petal flower looking thing, or you can create it to have overlapping layers so that there's more like eight petals. It didn't really matter how I did this because I'm actually going to cover them with another flower each. I almost have all three of these glued together and as you can see I don't feel the need to cover the entire thing. I just go between those two rows of holes on the middle layer to adhere that to the bottom layer and then on the top layer I just follow these diagonal lines across the different pieces and it will adhere perfectly. These actually go together very easily. I do love that with the different layering kaleidoscope type die sets that Spellbinders has. They have several. I don't know about you, but I tend to group my different um, die sets together in groups of like styled dies, and I've got quite the collection of kaleidoscope dies now. Here they are lined up nicely on the front of our card, and we're just going to adhere the center. You may have noticed that I cup these a little bit by laying it in my hand and just pushing down in the center um, and turning it a little bit and doing the same. I think I do that two or three times for each of these pieces. Next, we have some flowers from the Glimmer Edge Stylized Flower, or excuse me, Floral Glimmer set. See, that's that solid plate that, um, makes several different images and then one die that die cuts all of them. You can see all of the different pieces that I created. I went a little crazy with the Glimmer Hot Foil of the month because it's so fun. I love it. I foiled it uh, probably 10 times, maybe 15, and die cut them and I just have all of these pieces ready to go on different cards. 
here we have the one of the largest flowers and two of the smaller ones and I'm adhering them to the front of the card in the centers of each of these medallions with a little bit of dimension on the back. You could use uh, foam dimensionals. You, I'm using coaster blank here because I still have go gobs of coaster blank. Coaster blank is just a pulp board that has no printing on either side like you would get under your drink at the bar or the restaurant. I get it on Amazon and I will try to remember to link it in the description box below. Someone always asks me, what the heck is pulp board? What the heck is a coaster blank? <laughs> That's what it is. Um, that, I did decide to add a little gold gem, like the um, fashion gold gems that you can get from Spellbinders. And I'm also adding the sentiment from the Glimmer Hot Foil Mint of the month kit. This says, um, celebrate you today, I believe it says. And I, it, it gets die cut with that same die. I have a couple more flowers that I'm going to add to the inside of the card and this stem that goes with the different flowers. You could use this stem with any of the flowers that are foiled and die cut or die cut for that matter. Since the small die of the month coordinates with all of these different pieces. Spellbinders knocked it out of the park again this month. Just going to adhere that on one side and I do believe I take a small flower and put it in the other corner. I do love to, to decorate the insides of my cards just to bring the design from the outside to the inside. It really completes the whole card. Just brushing away some crumbs. Usually I'm wiping glue off of my fingers. <laughs> Next, I have the darker green piece that we cut with the detailed die. And I'm going to take the most detailed die just because I thought I could use these again later to die cut the centers out of those um, images on the front. And I've taken that backer piece that I had die cut with the solid outline piece and used the embossing folder of the month, the fan motif, and embossed that piece because we're going to put that behind our detailed piece. One is all shimmery from that bo fresh balsam distress mica stain and one is all embossed. So we've got texture and shimmer and all kinds of beautiful detail here. For this one, I decided to go Christmassy. I just had this vision in my head that I had to fulfill and this is where we're going. I have all of this nicely adhered and none of that distressed mica stain rubbed off on my hands. I also have another three and a half by eight and a half inch slimline card base that we're going to adhere this directly to. Just centering that in nicely. And then I'm going to pull out some of my older stamp sets. Some of them are really stamp. This one is uh, not all that old. This is Holiday Blooms. I think this came out in August. I'm not sure. And this Sweet Birdie die set. This is a layering bird die set. And it is adorable. Here it is with three different reds and black for the eye, beak, and feet. The same three reds that I used for the bird are what I used for these poinsettias that are from the Holiday Blooms. These pine boughs and this branch are from the Holiday Blooms also. I'm layering these together. I find it easiest to glue these pieces together before I glue them to the card. And I did make sure that I was using a different green than what I'd already used on the background, but I still wanted it to be a green. These are on the blue side of green, so that makes it all coordinate quite nicely. Now I'm going to adhere these little um, branch bunches to the center of the card because this is going to frame up or and create a landing place for our beautiful little red bird. I was surprised at how much I love this bird because I'm not, I mean, I like birds. We have a bird feeder out front in the winter because in the summer, the bears will come in, through the yard 
and bend our bird feeder pole right flat to the ground and totally empty the bird feeder. I would much rather not have to replace bird feeders and the poles. So we wait until the bears are hibernating before we actually put the bird feeders out. And because I don't want to watch bears. I, you know, one day I did come out into my kitchen at one in the afternoon and there was a bear that I could see through my kitchen window eating from our bird feeder. And I went and knocked on the window and scared the poopy out of that bear and it ran out of the yard, knocking my trash can down on the way out. <laughs> oh, to live in the woods, right? <laughs> I did adhere our cute little poinsettias down, and these are mini prills. They are sold in the Spellbinders shop, and I'm going to add centers to our poinsettias using these beautiful yellow mini prills. On one of the videos I did recently, I could not for the life of me remember the name of these prills. I kept wanting to say pearls. Pearls and prills are pretty darn close. These make quick work of adding a very detailed, lovely center for your poinsettias and for many of your flowers. So I think that this is um, something that I'm going to be pulling out a whole lot more. I did, of course, have to get all of the colors that Spellbinders carries. So I have full set syndrome with that too. But I don't regret it because I will be using them on many projects. I did originally get them for the Susan Tierney Cockney. Um, no, Susan Tierney Cockburn collection. She has wonderfully realistic flowers and they are in the Spellbinder shop. Next, I pulled out some oldies but goodies. This is the Holiday Sentiment Strips 2 and I chose Fa La 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 out of that. And I actually used the banner die from, I think it's a sentimental, it was um, one of the sentiments kits from, not kits, um, sets from this spring. And this oldie, Elegant Holiday Glimmer Sentiments. I think this came out the same year they started doing Glimmer Hot Foil kits. And it took me a while to get that into my collection. And I haven't used it much, but I think it's perfect with this fa la 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 making spirits bright. This is definitely a Christmas card with the poinsettias, the fa, fa la 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 la, and the, the inside sentiment. But I love it. In fact, I can't wait to send this. I can think of at least two people that would love this beautiful red bird in my immediate family. I did decide to add some of these gold baubles here and they are like the fashion gold pearls that you can get from Spellbinders. I just don't happen to have those. That is my two cards. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure rambled a lot on this video. <laughs> Let me know if you like the rambling. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, now's a great time to do that. If you're interested in any of the product that I've used today, check that description box below. They will always be listed and linked there. And until next time, here are a couple more videos I thought you might enjoy. Bye-bye.